So having added all of these new uh, attributes, all these new fields into the uh, table, into the object, the product object, I actually now want to use them within the PIM on the various pages. But I only want uh, those attributes that are associated with a particular uh, category or series of categories to, to be shown. So I'm going to show you two, as two ways to do that. But, but the first thing is uh, they must actually appear on the page. Um, so this is actually show you how you get uh, those fields on the page uh, that we're looking at. So I've got a view page. Uh, I've also got an edit page here so I want to add the uh, ones that I've just created into this page and there's a number of ways that we can do that so first thing I'm going to do is just add the uh, attributes that we've we've got uh, onto this page and I want to add them into this tab here so up in this top right hand corner you've got uh, this little arrow uh, obviously, it uh, depends on your permissions within application platform, but uh, you know whoever has permission to do this can actually do this. So I want to go to the designer page object. Might look a little bit uh, confusing here, but effectively it's a drag and drop. So what we've got is we've got a whole bunch of tabs. Uh, ignore the scripting. I'll come on to that later. But effectively, you know we can move. Uh, around uh, we can create new fields on these pages directly into the object uh, if we so wished uh, but effectively you know what I want and what I've also got is I can see I've got all sorts of uh, different types of available components to be added onto this page uh, so what I'm trying to do here is I want to add uh, my components into this page uh, here so just for the sake of uh, being you know so you can actually see what's going to happen I'm going to do it this way I'm going to create a new section which I'll just call uh, I don't know uh, we're going to call this fluids because you know I'm working with fluids at the moment uh, I'm going to set three columns up I've got some other properties but make it collapsible uh, in terms of that so i'm just giving it a header effectively uh what i'm now want to do uh i've forgotten one thing because if i you know i need to just because there's some code on this page so i just really want to cover that element which is called dynamic stuff so we'll just rename this uh it's don't worry too much about this so we've got we've got an area uh, and if I could spell that would be very useful fluids L-U-I-D-S uh, and then what I want to do is I want to start building uh, those items that uh, onto this page into this section here so the first thing is we've got to find them so we'll just go down uh, they were mostly text there was a, there was a pick list so you can see it's in in uh, field order or relationship order so i know that i created an integer uh, wherever it is integer so there it is there's my integer my quantity per case uh, i know there was a a uh, pick list wasn't there that we created uh, which was uh, if I can remember what it was oh it was physical something physical state and then everything else was a text field so we just add those alphabetically so one appearance doesn't matter you can move these around you know to whatever you want to do we'll start going because I created this as three columns so effectively I'm just dragging and dropping them onto the page where I want them to appear uh, of all the ones that I've created so you can see how easy this is uh, to do so I'm just literally creating the page uh, propellant solubility if I can say that uh, 
a density. Let's just put that there. Make this little look a little bit neat in a minute. Uh, VOC. Uh, we'll add some just here, just to even it up. Uh, stick some over here. Uh, and we'll put that one in there. Uh, for, and then I would just want to add UV. So we'll add it alphabetically into here. It doesn't have to be, but obviously that. So I've added, I've added, oh and I still can't put spell fluids. So F L U I D S, so fluids. So I've added I've added these to this page here. Um, I also want to add it to the edit page. Um, you can see I've added all these in here, but I've got all this other stuff related to bathroom and kitchens that I'm going to show you in the next section. Uh, how to just show this element uh, for these this category uh, using one of the configurators. But equally, what I need to do is I also need to do the thing because when I'm going to edit this page, I need to be able to see those fields on the page as well. So I'm going to do, quickly do the same thing um, in terms of uh, adding adding this. So back to my design the page element. Uh, we'll create a new section just below or just above here, I think. So we'll just create the section there. Just copy and paste this. fluids just to differentiate I don't have to put them into these sections but you know it's just keeping it neat uh, for the purpose of this title no border make it collapsible so then have lots of things going on uh, and then we just add our fields quickly so get to the integer Formula fields, integer, quantity. There was a, there was a pick list, pick list fields. Can't remember what we called it. Uh, physical states, and then we just add our text fields and drag them on. So aerosol. So this is the edit, the edit page. Boiling point. CS CS dot propeller I'll keep it there evaporates fresh points they are we see so nearly there nearly done see so now when I go into these in a second uh, I think that's it uh, just save that save this page down so as you can see uh, I can see you know the elements on here there's my drop down that I created uh, and so on so Effectively, what I've shown in this section is how I can add the attributes that we've created directly onto the page. Um, the next section is going to be how I mainly want to see, actually, for a, a category, uh, just this section. I don't want, I want to hide this section, uh, you know, when, when I'm working with this set of products uh, based on this category. So I'm just saving the page.